On May 27, 2016, Ms. Heard walked into a courthouse in Los Angeles, California to get a no-notice ex parte restraining order against Mr. Depp, and in doing so, ruined his life by falsely telling the world that she was a survivor of domestic abuse at the hands of Mr. Depp. Today, on May 27, 2022, exactly six years later, we ask you to give Mr. Depp his life back by telling the world that Mr. Depp is not the abuser Ms. Heard said he is, and hold Ms. Heard accountable for her lies. Let's talk about the headline for a minute. The headline that was published in the online version only of the article on December 18th, 2018, said, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. A few points here. Number one, and this evidence is undisputed. There's no dispute about this. So as you weigh the evidence, you, you, you don't have to check your common sense at the door, and you can weigh circumstantial evidence, you can weigh facts, but you can't see evidence where no evidence exists. And the undisputed evidence here is that Ms. Heard didn't write the headline, she didn't approve the headline, she had nothing to do with it, she was not given notice of the headline. She testified, you saw her testify about the sexual assault that she experienced at the hands of Mr. Depp. You saw her testify about that, that they're calling her a liar. You saw her on the stand testify with your own mouth, with her own mouth, exactly, exactly what she went through for the first time in court because people who have suffered that, they don't want to broadcast that to the world. They want to penalize Ms. Heard for not speaking about that earlier. That's ridiculous and it's insulting and it's just victim blaming at its most disgusting. If you do the math, Amber is entitled to at least 31.5. What does she take? Seven million. What does she do with the seven million? She gives it to charity or she intends to give it to charity. Now they make much ado about the pledge versus donation, but both the corporate designees for ACLU and for Children's Hospital said donation and pledge are interchangeable. You know, these are pledges. The ACLU corporate designee said, you typically do pledges because of the tax benefits. And that's what she said. She pledged it over a period of time because of the tax implications to it and because she was getting paid over the time. Now she started to make these donations and you'll see that the first one was on behalf of Mr. Depp's uh, business manager, Mr. White, actually sent the letters with the 100,000 for each of those. That was the initial ones. Um, he was trying to take credit for those and in fact, both the ACLU and Children's Hospital got confused and gave the credit to Mr. Depp, not to Amber for those. Then she made payments to both and Elon Musk also made payments to both for 500,000 each, which she didn't count to her pledge, but they helped those organizations. At the end of the day, she's made a million dollars in pledge in payments to them, but then she got sued here and hasn't been able to because she spent six million dollars in attorney's fees. That is unrefuted. She still intends to pay those pledges, honor those pledges, and she said that throughout, and I elicited from both the ACLU and from Children's Hospital, they haven't expired, she can pay them whenever she wants to, and she fully intends to, but she has to get out from under this first.